Hello everyone and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. Today's tutorial we're going to learn how to use the run service heartbeat in Roblox. To make a movie you put a bunch of picture frames together in sequential order and you get a movie. To make a Roblox game you just put a bunch of frames together, Roblox frames, in sequential order and you get a Roblox game. To make a movie, you need the ability to design each of those picture frames. And you do that by using your camcorder or a movie editor or video editor. In Roblox, you also need an editor to edit each of those frames. And in Roblox, the editor that we use to edit each of those frames is called the run service. The run service gives you the ability to edit at different places inside the frame. You can add it at the beginning of the frame, in the middle of the frame, or at the end of the frame. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn about the run service heartbeat, which is the event that is being fired at the end of the frame. So you can use the run service heartbeat to do whatever that you need to do at the end of the frame before the next frame starts. In this case, we're going to use the run service heartbeat to check to see if our ball position has changed from the previous frame. So we're going to check frame by frame and when the position of the ball changes, we're going to change the color of the ball. Let's now go to our service script service. We're going to create a script. In your script, just put in the following lines. On the first line here, I'm declaring my run service. Second line, I'm declaring my part. I'm saving my part's current position and I'm saving my part's current brick color. To listen for the run service heartbeat event, you start with run service, which, which is the service we declare up here, followed by dot heartbeat, colon connect to a function. And inside your function, you can do whatever you like. If you have seen our prior tutorial, we have used the while wait instead of the run service. And I will explain later why it's better to use the run service heartbeat than to use the while wait. Inside our function, we're checking to see if the part has been changed. If the part has been changed, we're changing the color of the ball. And we're updating the safe position to the new position of the part. If the position has not been changed, we're changing the color back to the original color. It means that the part is stationary. And now let's play and take a look. I'm gonna run and push the ball. And there it is, it's moving a little bit. And when it stops, it stops blinking. I'm gonna touch it again, and it's moving again. Oh, now it's going too fast. And there it goes. Now remember I mentioned earlier, you could have used Instead of run service dot heartbeat, you could have used the while, while wait loop as we have done in the prior lesson. But while wait loop is not as accurate as the heartbeat because the heartbeat catches every frame. The while wait, you, you could miss a frame or two or three in, in between. To demonstrate this, I'm going to pass in a parameter here. And the parameter is the delta time. The delta time is the time lapse between this heartbeat and the last heartbeat. Here inside our function, we're just going to print out the delta time. And we're going to come down here. We're going to print changed. And we're going to do one more print down here. Print. No change. Or I'll just put no for no change. As you can see, I have opened up my output window here. And now let's play and take a look. I'm going to stop it right away because this is running really fast. And here you can see it's printing all no change because the ball was not moving. And this is the uh, delta time here. So the delta time is about 0.01 of a second or maybe it's, it's definitely less than 0 0.02 except for this one right here, which uh, the, the system might have been busy or something. But on the average, it's about 0 0.01 to 0 0.02. If you have used the while wait, 
the wall weight would take at least 0 0.03 or more. So you could have missed a couple of frames in, in between each wall weight. And this is the reason why if you want an accurate result reading of something, you use the run service heartbeat and not the wall weight. I just want to make sure that everybody is absolutely convinced. So I have added a wild weight loop here. So now let's play again and take a look. And you can see it's going really fast. I'm going to go and touch the ball this time. All right, and I'll press stop. Let's review the data. So let's see, here we have a wild weight, and then we got the delta time and we got the change of the color. And then instead of another wild weight, we got a delta time again and another change of the color. So you can see two frames has passed before one wild weight is executed. And again, down here, we, we see the same thing. So every two frame, you get one wild weight. And if, if you're unlucky, maybe three frames passes before the wild weight get executed. All right, so now we're all absolutely convinced if you want accuracy, use run service dot heartbeat. If you don't care about accuracy, you can use wild weight. You just, you're just gonna end up mi missing a couple of frames in between. Everyone, that's our tutorial for today. We'll see you again in our next tutorial. Take care.